So today we gathered three Haitians to have them try griot from three different South Florida restaurants and rating them to see which one they'd prefer and which restaurants come out victorious. Let's meet our contestants. So my name is Yanni. Uh, my family is from Haiti. And what I think it takes to make the best griot is a little bit of love, um, preciseness, accuracy. Uh, and I don't like when the griot is too fatty. Uh, I like having more meat. Um, so I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm not a big fan of the fat at all. Uh, if a griot has too much fat, it kind of feels like it was a waste of griot in a sense. So I like for my griot to be meaty, healthy, cooked with love, and not too dry, but definitely not too wet neither. I'll definitely prefer it on the drier side. Hi guys, my name is Juanisha. Um, my family is from Port-au-Prince, Haiti. And what it takes to make the best grill is really good a piece. It needs to be very tender and also crispy at the same time on the outside. Hello, my name is Yvonne. My family came from Akaya and I love grill. What I like in a good grill is it has to be moist and spice hot pepper. First on the list is La Belle Jacques Melian in Miramar, Florida, where they're serving mouthwatering griot. Okay. Look nice. But a little bit not too moist. All right, let's eat. Okay. Fall off the bone, I guess. Hmm. Okay, it's juicy and tender. Not that crispy, but it's good. So this one has that fat that I was mentioning earlier. Not a big fan of that, so I'm gonna leave this part off. And then we're gonna take the first bite. It's really good. It's not too dry, but it's not wet neither. It's the perfect texture, perfect moisture. The seasoning's good, it's not too salty. I'm really liking this. I mean, aside from the fat, but the meat part is excellent. I'm gonna have to try it. Let's see. It's a little bit dry. It could be more moist. The taste is not bad. Is, sorry, I'm talking with my mouth full. I love the decorations. I'm a big fan of onions. So that's just a plus as well. Very good. I'm gonna take this fat off. Mm. That's really good. It was tender, but the flavor was not really there. What could make it better? It's over fry, need more spice, cause it's kind of dry. So uh, some of the positives about the last plate, again, the seasoning was really good. The moisture and the meat was really good. Um, it, was, it was very tasty, very savory flavored. Uh, I could tell that it was well prepped. Um, I like the decorations of the peppers and the onions on it as well. Um, it was my only negative takeaway about it was just the fat. I'm not a big fan of the fat. It's kind of like selling chips with air, you know? Like the fat is taken away from the meat portion. Um, if I had to rate it out of 10, I'll give it an 8.2 out of 10. Very well cooked. I rate that one a uh, five. Mm, I'll say six. Next restaurant is Casa Champette in Pembroke Pines, Florida, where they're serving delicious grill. Mm. OK. 
Okay. Not too fatty. This is a great first sign. Ooh, okay. This one looks a little bit better. Um, it's, I see the fat. I like the fat, personally. And yeah, I like the color of it. I'm gonna use a little more seasoning, slapping in some salt. All right, let's try it. Okay, falls off easily. Okay. A little, a little chewy. That's good. It look nice. Mm, it could be a little bit uh, more brown. A little bit spicy. So much steam or oil. It's a little dry too. Didn't have the same moisture as the previous one. It could be a little bit moist. It's not moist at all. I taste it. not juicy. I love the fact that's not the way I like my grill. It was tender, but the flavor was not really there. One of the key things that I did like about that grill was that it wasn't as much fat. Um, again, not a big fan of the fat at all. Um, something that I did dislike though was I feel like it wasn't enough seasoning, enough of that savory flavor that I was getting in my uh, first attempt. It was a bit dry, I would have to say. What could make it better? A little bit more spicy, juicy. The color could be a little bit brown. So I rate that one a seven. If I would have to rate it, I would say I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. On a scale of one to 10, I would have say four. Last grill to try is from Ubongu in North Miami serving tasty grill. Okay. The first look, it doesn't look too dry, not a lot of fat. It's a great first impression so far. Oh, okay. This one's a little lighter in color. It doesn't look like it's gonna be that crispy, but we'll see. Well, I don't like the look of it. Too much fat. It's very dry. All right, we got some more fat. I like that. Let's hmm. Let's skip the fat. Let's go for it actually. Okay, I like this one. <laughs> It's kind of hard. Need more spice. I don't think I like it. So, this one's a little more moisture, more moisturized. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Than the last one. 
Um, but also like the last one, it's, I feel like it's lacking a little bit in seasoning and that savory flavor. The decorations were okay. It's not bad. So, um, one thing that I did like about that grill was that it wasn't a lot of fat. Um, but also, I have to say that I didn't like how it wasn't enough of that savory taste. I feel like it was lacking a little bit in the seasoning. Um, the presentations was okay. Okay, so that one definitely took it. Um, it was crispy, juicy, had the fat and the ippy, so. What could have made this grill better? A little bit more spicy. Moist. And it was kind of dry. I don't like it. I can't even eat it. Boy, I love my grill. That's what, I, what kind of grill is that? Her. If I'm gonna have to rate it, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10, just like the last one. I'd rate that one a 10. 10 out of 10, yeah. On the count of one to 10, I would have gave four. in North Miami and for more videos like this and to see different people from various cultures try different South Florida restaurants make sure to like and subscribe to this channel